All right, quick video tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, December the 4th, I'm going to attend the Autopia 2099 uh, event in Los Angeles. It's an all electric vehicle um, car show, right? It's very close to Torrance, where headquarters of Tesla and SpaceX and stuff. Um, but here's the deal. I, I'm going to go and this car has about 150 miles of range, right? When you take it easy. But this thing is currently running so good that I'm probably gonna go fast on the freeway just to keep up with traffic and stuff. And so as a result, it uses quite a bit more, more energy, right? And so that means that it leaves me very little room to, you know, screw around over there at the show. And so in order to not suffer um, range anxiety, what I'm going to attempt to do is once I get to the show, uh, what I want to do is I want to use my EcoFlows to charge the bus there, right? Uh, it's from, the show is from 10 to 4. So that means I'm just going to go there. We're going to park. We're going to set up. And that means the car is just going to be there sitting a, a, a while, you know? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we decide to go around and do some, I don't know, some shenanigans or something. But for at least some time during the day the car is just going to be sitting there and i thought why don't we just charge it right i do this experiment where i use these guys to charge and that's what i'm doing right now i'm actually just doing a test to see if it'll continuously charge this car right now um this this bus will take up to seven kilowatt hours or kilowatts of charge right but i'm using the tesla umc and then uh, i have an adapter here that goes from a regular 1776 or 1772 to, uh, you know, the Tesla thing. And so according to this thing, it says that it's pulling 3,178 watts, which if you divide that into 120, because it's 120 plug, right? Uh, the RV one, then that's about 26 amps. Uh, and I guess that's, that's uh, yeah, that's what it would support uh, continuously because of this plug, right? It's a 30 amp plug, but you know, this is, this is like a 3,600 uh, watt inverter, but for some reason it's just pulling uh, 26 watts right now. I don't know if that's just the actual chargers. That's just what they're pulling because it's almost all the way up. It's almost fully charged. If you look over here on the thing, it's at 120 and uh volts the amp thing doesn't work they're stop working i need to fix that but because these chargers will stop at 126 volts maybe they're throttling down already and that's why it's only doing that so i'm just doing this little test um you never know see if i were to charge empty both of these into the bus while at the show i would have put about seven kilowatt hours back into the battery which equals about 25 miles or something. It's, uh, you know, it's not too shabby that you're looking at about 25 miles uh, worth of energy on there. And so I just, I guess I'm gonna do that test tomorrow. Just why? Just because why not? I wanted to see if having something like this will actually work, you know? So anyways, if you guys are in LA and you guys wanna check it out, check out a bunch of cool, cars uh so i understand there's going to be a lot of diy conversions uh there and also you know a bunch of teslas and a bunch of production cars and stuff um yeah i will see you there if you guys decide to go i will leave uh the details and a link to the event uh website uh of the event you know all the details of the event are going to be there all right thank you for watching this video We'll see you guys on the next one and maybe tomorrow. All right. Good night.